What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Honest Government Ad Visit the UK. I'm hyped to get into it, but before we do, make sure y'all subscribe, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we get? Visit the UK, home to iconic British destinations. Bell End, Penis Stone, Fingering Ho, Shitterton, oh and of course, Twat. As well as. <laughs> bro, who, co who, co who coming up with these town names, bro? Only in the UK, dog. Only in the UK where you're coming up with these town names. As to an array of ancient reptiles, poisonous parasites, <laughs> and this haunted Dickensian lamppost. <laughs> the UK operates under the feudal system, with peasants belonging to whichever job centre has Ooh. their file. Whence they can be rented at rates so low they can barely afford to eat and heat their home. Dang. Government is run by Tory scum. That's life, dog. That's, that's it. Hey, if you, if you end up in a lower class, dog. You basically used and abused. That's not just in the UK, that's in the US. That's where you know most freaking everywhere around the world. You wind up lower class, you used and abused. Uh, you're not getting paid livable wages. They, they, you struggle just to pay bills. You gotta have two to three jobs just to survive. It ain't pretty. It ain't pretty, man can be rented at rates so low they can barely afford to eat and heat their homes. Government is run by Tory scum, mm. the legally approved term for Conservative Party members, whose job is to conserve obscene amounts of land and wealth in as few hands. So like who owns a 0.6% of the population own 47% of the land? That's cra that's crazy. That is, that's just not right, dog. As possible. A cabinet of Tory scum is known as useless fuck pigs, according to one of them. Notable <laughs> fuck pigs include the fuck pig who said old people should die. Fuck pig who wanted oh to Oh my god! <laughs> Boris Johnson said old people should die. Jesus! Or die. Fuck pig who said homelessness is a lifestyle choice. Fuck pig. Homelessness is a. Nah, they're wilding, dog. And I'm not. For some. Nobody chooses to be homeless. Nobody want to be homeless. Some people do make the decisions in their life that does lead to homelessness. You know what I'm saying? Completely understand that they made a lot of decisions, bad decisions along the way, and that's where it led. But there's a lot out there, right, who it's, it's circumstantial. There's a lot of, and I hate to say it, like over here, like vets who went out to war and just didn't have jobs or didn't have, weren't taken care of. And, they were traumatized during the war. Of course, they didn't come back the same, whether they were physically harmed, missing limbs, whether they were mentally harmed, PTSD, or they just didn't come back the same. And it seemed like they just weren't taken care of like they should have been. Absolutely hate that. You feel me? Uh, there's <clears throat> there's others. So there's so many circumstances. There's so many stories of how people got to being homeless with a lot of it not being their fault you feel me so and some like i said some people it was their decisions that got them there but a lot of other people you don't know their story you don't know how they ended up where they ended up so you shouldn't judge anyone you shouldn't judge okay my bad my bad continue the lettuce outlast list <laughs> At least dress outlast this lettuce is crazy. Pig who lost to a lettuce. Pig fucker fuck pig. And of course, our fuck pig in chief. The Tory scum fuck pig's key policy is distraction. This is definitely getting demonetized. Jesus. They didn't say F pig too many times. And distracting the proles with a series of bogeymen, grockles, immigrants, straight bananas. All with the help of a media that's almost entirely owned by just a handful of cunt at companies. Every five years, the UK holds a symbolic <laughs> ritual called an election, in which mm. peasants are forced to use an archaic voting system called Fucked Past the Post that lets them choose whether to be fucked by Tory scum or by the mm. Tory scum like party. This oh, yeah, y'all yeah, are very. UK and US, although I already knew it, very, very much in common. Very much. We go over here, can we choose to be F by the Republicans or the Democrats? But either way, we gonna be F. So we have so much in common, UK. This is an especially exciting time to visit the UK because here at the British government, we're just about to announce the next election. And here's some of the bullshit you can expect to see. Populist wank. A deal with Rwanda. A minister for common sense. Stoking a culture war. Anything to distract from the soaring poverty, food and energy prices we're doing Crazy. dick all about. Fake scandals. Remember that time Labour was unelectable because this guy ate a sandwich? Our media's so good at helping lower the entire nation's <laughs> IQ. An essential requirement for voting. 
voting Tory disenfranchisement. <laughs> if you notice young people not being what able to vote mean? against us on election day, great, that's our recent voter ID laws working just as intended. Gosh, I tried to pause it like 10 different times. My lab, my computer is messing up, dog. What did that mean? He didn't get voted for because he had a sandwich? This is made, this is the pig's ear and made of a helpless sarnie in 48 hours. He could be doing the same to Britain. <laughs> Don't swallow his porkies and keep him out. That's crazy. My boy can't even eat a sandwich in peace, dog. <laughs> Uh, Q, an essential requirement for voting Tory disenfranchisement. If you notice young people not being able to vote against us on election day, great, that's our recent voter ID laws working just as intended. Wow. Amnesia, our trusted favorite, where we pick a new slogan and ask voters to pretend we're not the exact same party that's presided over 14 years of utter fucking, fucking failure, including killing a shit ton of you with austerity, reduced oh life my. expectancy, increased homelessness, and childhood poverty, collapse of the justice system, and the NHS, criminal levels of Regulation, a privatized shit show that's profiting by shitting on you and all over our rivers and coastline. And this shit show wrecking the fishing industry, <coughs> selling out farmers, local government bankruptcies, endless strikes, unaffordable housing, a failing transport system, oh, and climate policy, and reducing the incomes of the poorest Britons. Y'all got to get them conservatives to, uh, up out of there, dog. It, I was, my brain was being hit with so much bad information about them. Jesus. Jesus. Y'all got to get, if they doing all this, dog, but then again, I'm sure, like she said, I'm sure the other party ain't, ain't no better. So it, it just sucked, dog. It sucked. When you got to pick between the, the, <laughs> the best of the worst is an awful choice. Where you got to make a choice out of who's the best of the worst. You got to pick your poison. You want to be F by them or you want to be F by them? Because either way you get that. It sucks. And we, I know how it feels. Affordable housing, a failing transport system, and climate policy, and reducing the incomes of the poorest Britons to the level of approximately Slovenia. Tories. With a government like this, who needs terrorists? <laughs> the only way British voters can hope to surmount all these challenges during election season is by knowing about them in advance. So do not share this video with them. And whatever you do, do not tell them about this site, which oh. shows them how to vote tactically in each seat. Tactical oh. voting is the only electoral tool the British peon has to circumvent our munted voting system. Recent by-elections show that it works at kicking out Tory Ooh. scum, so we're very much shitting ourselves about that. And if we do lose the election, don't worry. We've already salted the earth by selling anything that could be used by the next government to benefit the country, such as this land reserved for HS2. Just a parting gift to remind everyone what massive c**ts we are. <laughs> However, visit the UK. Nah, you gotta Fuck get... you. <laughs> F you. <laughs> They gotta get them Tories up out of there, dog. Uh, whoever in charge gotta get up out of there, and hopefully you get somebody in the seat that's not gonna f you over. I doubt that you can, cause it's government, it's corrupt, it's. <laughs> I I don't know how else to say it, but, <sighs> it, it seemed very similar to the UK. I mean, to the US. We we understand the struggle. That's all we got. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video, a thumbs up. It's your boy Dina. Out.